Hello everyone, and welcome to the stage. I'm Akeem Brunson, and today we're recording from the talking area at Miami Day College Kindle Campus. I'm joined by the one and only Professor Marcia De Lopez of the Miami Day College School of Architecture and De Interior Design. Thank you for joining us today, Professor. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good. Well, I guess congratulations are in order. Um, a few of your students recently took home a couple of awards from the Interior and International Design Association Supercon S Student Challenge. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. This was a great experience. Well, talk, take me through the process of the award. Uh, what is it all about? Well, we have, uh, we have been working with the professional organizations such as IID, International Interior Design Association, for a couple of years now. And, but this is the first time that my students uh, have submitted work for a design competition. And this competition was open to seven local schools, regional schools, uh, six uh, 60 schools entered, and uh, my MDD College students won the three awards. So we're very proud of our students. That's good, good. All right, so like, let's talk a little bit about the, um, the, the, the process of the awards. Like, what did the students have to do um, in the competition? Well, this uh, Sancon competition was a pediatric oncology reception and waiting area for a clinic. And the students had the challenge of uh, designing Everything from the uh, concept, from the design concept, they have to choose a color palette, they have to choose the sustainable materials, work with codes, and uh, submit a, a floor plan, mm -hmm. uh, details of reception desk that have to provide services for handicapped people, and also provide a, a perspective and sustainable materials in addition to uh, a complete list specs of the materials that would be easy to clean, be sustainable, and also be a uh, microbial for a clinical purpose. Okay. Well, I understand like with the, the boards that they submitted, they had to um, accomplish a certain goals of, like, I think it's called G-Cells, the Global Sustainability and Earth Literacy um, Studies. Uh, what is G-Cells? Talk to me a little bit about Well, G-Cells, Global Sustainability and Earth Literacy Studies is an initiative through the Earth Access Institute at Miami Dade College. And this is a pilot program that is started in fall. Uh, uh, during this academic year. Uh, we have been working, uh, the same group of students started G-Cells last uh, semester in Design 3, and they are continuing the pilot, uh, developing projects for the pilot program in Design 4. So the Sankan competition was, was an additional project that I incorporated into the curriculum to be able to develop a the G-Cells uh, project. Uh, Is that something that you incorporate into your regular cur uh, curriculum? How does that work? I always worked at uh, Earth Ethics Institute. I'm a um, uh, council member since I started Miami Dade College in 2005. Okay. And I'm proud of being part of this program. I have been always collaborating in different uh, programs, but this is a college-wide initiative. Mm -hmm. Any uh, department, uh, it's, it, every department is participating at this initiative. And it's a curriculum enhancement uh, in support of the Miami Dade College learning outcomes. Okay, so it's being globally sustainable. It's great. Um, so, you talked to me earlier about um, some of the learning experience you want some of your students to take away as a result from the G from G cells. Like, what what are what do you want your students to take away from your course? Well, the main uh, the main experience that I wanted my students to take with them when they leave Miami Dade College is uh, to learn that as a designer, they impact people's lives daily. And I want to make sure that they impact their lives daily positively uh, by being responsible on how to choose uh, appropriate materials, and most importantly, how, in the, especially the Sankon competition, how uh, they relate to design and health, how, uh, as a designer, they can improve people's health as well. So. Um, let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about the, um, let's bring a spotlight on the School of Architecture and Interior Design. Tell me about the majors that are available. Well, in the Interior Design program, we offer classes at Kendall Campus and Wolfson Campus, and we offer uh, degrees in uh, Associating Arts and Associating Science. Mm -hmm. Half of my students are AA and half of my students are AS um, students. And you are the um, professor of the uh, Interiors for Studio Design. Talk to me about your course and how you integrate G cells into the, your program. Uh, I have been uh, working with sustainability, as I said, since I started my Miami College. 
Uh, but now this became like a broader, uh, has a broader perspective because it has been reaching a lot of departments, not only the School of Architecture. Uh, the way that I that incorporate, again, is to try to, I want to make sure that our students leave this perspective that we don't teach decorating, we teach architecture in theaters. And architecture in theaters, uh, it promotes the welfare, health, and safety of people. So to the normal person, like, how, how they're affected on a daily basis by, like, global sustainable products like how how is that uh, affect a normal person or like and how you teach your students to incorporate that into their designs well first is the recognition of their uh how they can empower people through design i think that's the first thing it's more like a psycho psychological take that i i have a lot of responsibility and as a designer and so they take ownership and they take a responsibility on everything that they design every day Another aspect is that we are surrounded by design. Everything is design. If you look around, uh, it's, it's more like understanding that design can empower people. And of course, the sustainability, we cannot talk about a design nowadays without talking about sustainability. Uh, how you choose the materials, how you, um, you relate to uh, uh, natural resources, uh, water. Yeah. Uh, water is one thing that people take it for granted, and then we know that we don't have much water if we don't do anything. So we, we discuss all these issues, uh, recycling, uh, we have done a lot of projects that involve recycling and reusing uh, to have a minimum waste. Uh, these students have to read books uh, on uh, cradle to cradle products and how waste becomes food using William McDonald um, experience from, from the, the reads that they had also throughout the semester. Well, thank you very much, Professor. That was great. We're going to take a quick break. Every year, Miami-Dade College selects distinguished professors who continue to demonstrate excellence in teaching, effective communications with students, and professional growth. Learn more about these incredible professors as Jazz Katambe asks them the questions you have in mind. The Honorees, all new episode with your host, Jazz Katambe. A world of education and opportunity within reach. You're watching MDC TV. Back to the stage, we're joined by Professor Marcia Lopez de Melo and um, Cynthia Rondon. Congratulations on your award, your first place winner. How was that? Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Um, well, yeah, it was so definitely a new experience. It was the first time uh, me submitting into a competition, so it was definitely something new. All right, so green, low maintenance cost furniture with a therapeutic color that promotes relaxation and distracts patients. Wow, that's a mouthful. What was going through your head? Well, there were a lot of requirements and while well, you're giving us a space, a real space, and you have these requirements, you also have um, many things to work with. Um, not everything works uh, in your favor, so you have to make things work. And you have, uh, for example, the ADA, for, uh, you have to make everything work, and um, well, that's what I came up with. So what was your inspiration when you created this design? Well, I what inspired you? I did some research about what was going on right now in healthcare. And oh, uh, as I was doing my research, then I, I thought about the idea of an aquarium. Mm -hmm. I know that most people like aquariums. It's very relaxing. Mm -hmm. So it has common colors like the, uh, blue, purples, greens, but it also has stimulating colors, bright colors mm -hmm. like uh, yellow, orange, red, all those sorts of colors. So I came up with uh, my color palette. The colors that I used were uh, blue, Blue, green, purple, orange, and yellow. So how, how do you make your, um, your design um, sustainable? Like, wh what did you incorporate into it? Well, sustainability, well, thanks to the G-Self program, we learned about sustainability. It's not just about materials. Uh, all the materials in my project are sustainable, but it's also about the, the, the relationship between healthcare and the designer. 
uh, we have a role. In this case, uh, the role of the designer is to heal the patient, support the staff, and engage the family. Uh, it's very important to uh, make the healing process easier for children. They shouldn't be fighting the environment. It should be a nice environment where, where they can like um, explore their own creativity. Was it something that just popped into your head one second, or like how long did, this, this, did you work on this? It took me a little while to get the concept. Yes, it did. But then when I got the idea of the aquarium, it just it was natural. Okay, so it just flowed out after yes. the aquarium. Yeah. All right. So like. What would you say, like, how, would the, how did the Interior Design 4 Studio class prepare you for the competition? Well, most importantly, my professor. <laughs> she was very helpful. And also the Giselles program that also helped with the knowledge. And yes. Did you assist students during the project? Or like, what were the collaborations that you work on, on for this project? Uh, for this project? Um, well, at some point we helped each other, you know, in our class. Right now, before presenting, we were helping, like, getting ready, everything ready, the boards and all of that. So, um, uh, uh, after winning the award, like, what did you get? Well, I got um, an iPad and $1,000. $1,000. All right, I, I know that you are um, an A8 student. Like, after completing this program, like, where do you plan on going? What's next for you? What's the big goal? Uh, I applied to FIU, okay. and I got accepted. So, I'll be attending FIU in the fall. And after finishing, like, where you have overall was your dream? Well, I really enjoyed this experience because, um, you know, in interior design, you have many fields. You can do many things. And I really like this one uh, related to healthcare, especially helping children. So that would be um, a field I would like to explore a little bit more, maybe. Yeah. So, Professor Marcia, how did you help the students with the collaborations? Well, our, our interior design studio is very interactive. The students help each other daily in the class. Uh, since this was a very in-depth uh, project uh, through a professional organization, the project had to be really professional at the highest level of excellence because you're exposing the program to the community. Uh, in that sense, it was challenging uh, because all the requirements are the first time that they're doing uh, this kind of project uh, uh, with the requirements uh, from the interior design profession. So they really help to work together and uh, do research together and help them with uh, even details of learning how to use the Google SketchUp and AutoCAD. Uh, I think the success of the studio, it comes from the collaborative uh, perspective that I have in the interior design studio. Each one has to help each other, uh, and everybody at the end was successful. Not only the three students who won the competition, but the, the 10 students were able to submit the project to the competition. As a matter of fact, um, as I said before, we had a six schools participating. Five finalists were from Miami Dade College, so they chose these three students out of five from, from the same group, from the same interior design studio. So was this the first time this, um, the college uh, entered this program? Or? This is the first time the Sancon offers uh, this kind of design competition, and then, of course, we are eager to participate and make a statement and, and, and make sure that the community know what we're doing as, as, as interior designers and, and future uh, professionals in the field. Yeah. Has the college, uh, is there any other co collaborations the college participates with, the, um, with IIDA? Well, I have been collaborating with IIDA, uh, Inter International Interior Design Association, for, uh, since 2006. We have been doing other projects such as Art by Design and uh, Design Mix, but this was the first time that we did a distant con competition as a design challenge. Well, I'm sure you're pretty much happy with your design. Talk to me a little bit about it, like the open spaces, or like you said, how do you describe your, um, your design? Well, I think my design is in a way relaxing, but at the same time, it stimulates the patient, which is very important for little kids. Yes. Is it like the color schemes? Like, like how, how does that relate to students and like, I mean, to patients? And it's not only the colors, it's also the elements that you use as a visual distraction. In my project, I have bubble tubes. It's a version of a bubble tube, and bubble tubes have been used uh, among doctors uh, to control stressful behavior in patients. And in kids with uh, mental disabilities as well. So it also, it's a, it's a tool for kids to explore their own creativity and interact with each, each other, yeah. 
So it looks like when I saw the design, it reminded me a little bit of like Finding Nemo. It's a playful area, lots of bubbles. It's yes. cheers. It's, it's yes. nice. Well, thank you very much, Cynthia. You're watching the stage. We're going to take a quick break. Learn more about Miami Dade College's clubs and organizations. Hi everyone, welcome to Meet the Clubs. My name is Jessica Ruiz and Tropical Bee is a cultural organization. Student Government Association is an organization which promotes community service. We're doing Camilla's House and beach cleanups. Being part of SGA at the Hialeah campus, when the students come to our campus, most of them have come from another country. Hello everyone, you are watching Meet the Clubs and today we have the Face Club here. I didn't have any friends, so when I met the Face Club, I had new friends. Welcome to Meet the Clubs. Meet the Clubs on MDC TV. Welcome back to the stage. We're joined again by Professor Marcia and Nicole Tehagen. Congratulations on your award. Thank you so Talk much. Talk to me a little bit about it. Um, well, it was um, my concept behind this design was a walk in the trees. And I wanted the children in the space to really feel like they're outside instead of um, indoors. So the columns um, represent trees and the furniture represents um, leaves falling down from the trees. Um, the color palette was, um, was to resemble fall leaves and all the materials I chose. Um, Thanks to G-Cells, which is the Global Sustainabilities and Earth Literacy Studies um, that was in, in the course, I chose all my materials uh, very sustainable. The veneer was um, made from banana trunk, which was very interesting. And um, the flooring was eco-resin with cork in, in between, so it was very sustainable materials. When you heard the, um, the criteria for the competition, how did you feel? What was going through your head? Um, well, at first I thought it was a lot, um, but <laughs> we each had to um, have a concept of our own. So I thought since the project was very sustainable, I first thought of nature as my concept. So, Professor, you had any input into her design or like her overall? Well, uh, our interior design studio is very uh, a collaborative group. Um, I have 10 students and then I encourage the 10 students to have a successful solution for the competition. And all the students had uh, completed their project equally as Cynthia and Nicole. So tell me a little bit about your background. Like, where, where are you? You are the, you're an S AS student? Yes, I'm currently doing the AS and I'm almost done. Um, and after that, I, I currently work in the field. So after that, I want to continue working in the field until um, I want to hopefully go to New York School of Interior Design. Congratulations. Um, what was your inspiration besides the, uh, the colors and the schemes that, uh, for being sustainable? Where did you get that from? Well, I think the sustainable aspect we learned in our course uh, through GCELS, Global Sustainability and Earth Literacy Studies. Um, so far as the materials go, and actually the whole concept as well, because bringing nature into it, is, it really came from that. I hear you're very active. You presented um, your project in front of a symposium. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. Um, it was very nerve-wracking. I had to um, speak in front of many people about not only my design, but about um, all my classmates' design. So it was a lot of um, work at first to prepare for the speech, because I had to um, really remember everyone's project as well as my own. Were there any other collaborations that you worked with her on or with your students in the class? Well, this semester uh, we have been involved with events through IIDA and the Earth Ethics Institute. Uh, Design Mix was one event that also Nicole participated, uh, was a few weeks ago, uh, in addition to the Sankan competition. So how long did it take for you to um, go through your whole process, like 
How long was it? Was it stressful or? Um, it was very stressful. Okay. Uh, it does seem like a small project, but it was a lot of work. It was over the course of around three weeks in our course, and we did this project while we were still working on our final project now. So it was really challenging to work on two projects at once, um, as well as all of the qualifications that we needed for this project. So Nicole, what's next for you? Where do you go take it from here? Well, I'm currently getting my AS in interior design here in Miami-Dade. And then afterwards, I want to work in the field more. I currently work um, for a designer now. So I want to work in the field a little more. And then I would like to go to New York School of Interior Design. So I'm sure you must be happy of all your very talented students. Yes, I'm very proud of my students, uh, especially because you're competing with four-year programs. And they worked really hard. They are very talented. And they are very well-deserved. Uh, all the prizes they have won uh, in this competition. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching the stage. I'm Akeem Brunson. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.